Let's take a look at number 22. We got 6x squared plus 3 is equal to 4x. Now I'm going to solve this using the quadratic formula, so I need to get everything over one side, 0 on the other. So I take 4x, move it over. It gives us 6x squared minus 4x plus 3 equal to 0. Now our quadratic formula, we need to identify our a, b, and c. a is whatever's in front of our x squared, which is 6. b is whatever's in front of our x, which is negative 4. And c is our number at the end, which is 3. And the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we're going to go through and replace our variables with sets of parentheses. Everything else remains exactly the same. Now b we said was negative 4, so we're going to put a negative 4 in there. a is 6, so we'll put a 6 in for the a, and c is 3. Now negative negative gives us a positive 4, plus or minus, negative 4 squared is 16, minus 4 times 6 times 3, 72, over 12, which gives us 4 plus or minus, square root of um, negative 56 over 12, and yeah, negative 56. Then we've got 4 plus or minus square root of negative 1 times 2, 4, 8 times 7, all over 12. Now remember the square root, we're looking for a pair of somethings. Here's a pair of 2, so they're going to come out as a single 2. And here's a negative 1, that's going to come out as an i. So we're going to have 4 plus or minus 2i, and we're left with a 14 inside, all over 12. Now, since we have an imaginary part that appeared, we need to split up the real part separate from the imaginary part. So I put 4 over 12, plus or minus 2 square root of 14 over 12 with an i to the side. Now, 4 twelfths is 1 third, and these 2 and 12 reduces to square root of 14, square root of 14 over 6, i. And that'd be our answer.